How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today I'm going to show you how you can harvest and bail at the same time and this is going to be a trick or a strategy that you can use on all platforms. Yes, console players, you're going to be able to use this. So here we have our typical harvesting setup. You've got a nice case 9250 right here, an awesome draper header and then we've got a baler back here and this baler is the baler package with lizard r90 it's by hispano modding and it is available for all platforms as well and the reason i like this one is because turning corners it's going to make this a little bit easier and i'm going to show you guys what i mean here in just a minute but the other part that you're going to need to this is the snuffle stuck I know it's a really interesting name, but this thing is cool. What it has is a mechanical PTO back here on the back. So you look right in there, you can see there's the PTO right there in the middle of the screen. It's also got a three point. It's got all your different attachments that you're gonna need, pin style, ball style, whatever you need. It Everything's gonna be able to attach to this thing. It is awesome. So how is this gonna work? Well, the first thing you need to do is fire up your machine and you're gonna back up just like you typically would to any other item. And this snuffle stuck is located in dollies once you download it. Another thing that you're gonna need is you need to make sure you have a hitch back here. Most harvesters do have a hitch, but if you can get one with an optional extended um, hitch right here, this is what you're gonna need. Now, some of the John Deere's have one that are offset a little bit, try and get it so it's gonna be right in the middle because if it's offset, then whenever your baler is going across your swath, it's gonna be offset to that one side and it's not gonna pick it up fully. Now, if you're running the rake, you're good, but if you're running a smaller header and you've got some crops, you, you could run into a little bit of an issue. So try and get one that's right in the middle. So once you've got that hooked up, then what you need to do is go ahead and back up and attach this right there. So you can see that the PTO has now attached, shown in the right spot, all your other cables and everything are hooked up and they're going good. So now we're gonna pull forward, get our header on here, and then I'm gonna show you guys how this exactly is gonna work once we get in the field. I'm on the edge of my field, and what I need to do is go ahead and go to my baler. I'm gonna go ahead and unfold it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn my harvester on, and then we're gonna go back to the baler and we're going to turn it on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set cruise here and get to work. So as you can see, once I get my straw swath, it's just gonna take and collect it into the middle here. You can see that there's a little bit of straw being thrown into the middle. Now, you could use a regular baler also, and that's what we're gonna show you over there with the crone, but I wanna show you what's gonna happen whenever we turn a corner here once this worker gets down here to the end. So I'm gonna hire a worker. Yes, you can hire a worker with this also. Workers doing their job. When they get down here to the end, I wanna show you exactly what's gonna happen with the straw. So down there in the corner, it didn't actually uh, show you the way that I wanted to, so I came down here. And once you start to make a corner, you can see that you're going to be, you know, your straw is going to be outside the center, right? And by using this baler right here, it actually brings everything back to the center. And you can see we picked up every bit of that straw. And if you try to do that with a regular baler, it's not going to work. So let me go show you that it, this combo does work with a regular baler also. All right, so here we are with the John Deere and the Krona Baylor. This is a base game one, but you can see as I start to turn, I make some bigger turns. We're going to be missing a little bit there, right? So if you've got irregular shaped fields, um, you, you're definitely going to be missing some straw and you're going to have to come back and pick that up with just a regular uh, you know, tractor and a baler. Um, but if you use the other one over there, I know it does cost a little bit more, but you're gonna be able to uh, to get all your straw in just one pass. Now, I know that's a pretty irregular field right there, but there are some like that on European maps or even some of our North American maps that you're gonna have fields like that. So I think it's a pretty good idea to go ahead and, uh, and try and use that other one if you wanna run this technique. Now, the first thing that I'd like to point out as a warning to you guys is you're gonna need a harvester that has a significant amount of horsepower. So let me take you over to a very popular one that doesn't have a lot of horsepower and show you how difficult it is to use it. All right, so what we have here is the twin screw, and this is a very popular one. It has a huge capacity, actually the largest capacity of any harvester that we can get for consoles, and a case header because it doesn't come with its own header. You can use any header you like. I like this one because it typically works really well with the harvester, but once we have this baler back here, which requires 250 horsepower to operate, Go ahead and check this out. So we're gonna lower down the header here. 
And then we're gonna go and start moving forward. And you can see that I'm only going barely six miles an hour, seven, eight. So the reason I'm going faster is because I've got the tool height control for headers on here. And you can see that I'm barely at 11 miles an hour. It took me quite a ways to get there. If you have any type of hill at all, it is going to go very, very slow. I'm doing a challenge with 4B Gaming over on Bloomfield, Canada, and there's some gentle rolling hills on that map. And I was having a lot of difficulties trying to get this set up to work. So I ended up having to go and get a John Deere X9. The second thing that I would like to give you a warning on is whenever you disconnect the snuffle stuck, you need to actually disconnect it from your baler first. So I'm gonna go ahead and back up and we are going to disconnect the baler and then I'm gonna pull forward and then I'm gonna disconnect this, all right? So that keeps it nice and level. You can see the front end is down. So whenever you back back up to it, you're gonna be able to connect to it and then go and connect here. Now, what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna disconnect from my uh, snuffle stuck itself. And you see see what happens? It, it, it goes up in the air. And now it's very difficult to try and get back connected to that. I mean, it's, it, it's almost impossible. I'm not saying it's completely impossible. You know, and also your baler there, it actually has a lot of the weight not on the tongue right now because everything is up in the air. If you're using a baler that only has two wheels, that snuffle stock is almost gonna point straight up. So make sure that you are disconnecting it from your baler first and then disconnect it from the hard. So I've got the big case out here again. As you can see, we are going 12 miles an hour and this one has absolutely no problems pulling it up a hill. Um, this thing or the John Deere works absolutely great. You've also got the fence that you can use um, that are really high horsepower as well. I'm gonna go and hire a worker here. And um, you know, it's a, it's a pretty awesome setup here that is really gonna allow you to be able to save quite a bit of time having to worry about coming back and bailing and then picking up your bales. Now, one thing that you can do, if you can find, now, you know, this video may be watched by somebody later after, you know, uh, some of these mods are getting ready to come out that I'm gonna tell you about. We have had in the past, in Farming Simulator 19, there were balers that actually had hitches on the back of them so you could pull a trailer. If that's the case, you can run another snuffle stuck to it and then, you know, auto collect your bales at the same time. So you're doing even more things in one pass. This one right here, unfortunately, does not have it. Um, wish it didn't. I wish you could connect the trailer to this because that would make it the ultimate, ultimate setup. But everybody, that's gonna be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you wanna stay up to date on all my future videos here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell too while you're at it. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go ahead and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.